What's up guys, B2, I'm going to check in with a little bit of Conflict of Nations. I'm going to update one of the games we have going that is uh, pretty close to end. It's this game, uh, 308-4013, so stay tuned. So I get the question quite a bit, uh, and that question is, how do I run up such a high score in the games and have fewer cities than most people? Um, and, and so I'm going to answer that because that's twofold. One, how to win. And two, it's going to be boosting your player score. So kind of a twofold video in here. Uh, so first, you'll see I have um, six fewer cities, but I'm sitting on 300 uh, more VPs in there, right? So, uh, so I'm going to review real quick. So you'll notice that we came in and a lot of people, so um, there's an art to this because you don't want to run out too quick, but you also don't want to hold back and, and lose out on some VPs, right? So um, so right here, you can see in Africa, I took <laughs> the lion's share of Africa. Um, Serbia and I were going to go in together. Um, I was trying to convince, this was like, uh, gosh, this was uh, just a huge debacle from the beginning. But we got here to Saudi Arabia, um, and we were coming in, and we met up with Egypt. And I forget, if it, I think it was Norway, who was like, I don't want to attack Egypt. I don't want to attack Egypt. I'm like, to attack Egypt, get in there. Like, this is the next... Look, we had almost all of Europe. You could tell how quick we ran through there. Um, we closed the gaps, and you could tell the big countries here. Um, we were here and here, right? Uh, we closed this. We marched through, and then we were coming back around this backside. And I was like, you have to. You, you have to go into Egypt. And they were holding back, holding back. Two full game days. I was trying to convince my coalition to get into Egypt. Finally, I just said, you know what? I just went in by myself. Um, and I ended up um, losing part of this the shoreline. But you can see I was the first person to come in here. And I was taking, this is all Egypt, all the way down here. I tried to cross here over to Djibouti. Um, and I lost um, about 18 units because someone had ships here that wouldn't engage the, the Egyptian ships. So I ended up bringing my subs all the way across the map, taking them out, and then coming across and taking the land, right? But you can see what happened. The minute we got into Egypt, we ended up with Libya, Chad, Sudan, down into South Sudan, Cameroon, like, and we swept the map to the to the left here. Ended up taking out Algeria. Serbia jumped in. You can see where he did a lot of damage on the shorelines. He came over here on the west side of Egypt as we were attacking. So I actually landed here and then moved east to take the pressure off the troops coming from the west. So, so like, if you're in a coalition, you have somebody who's leading the group. Listen to them. You know, get a good five-man coalition. Join my Discord. Find good players. Look, if you want to become better at something, you got to practice it. You got to be around other people who are playing the game to learn more. Um, and then you have to just you have to get in and do it, man. You can't talk about it and learn everything. You have to get in and do it. So, uh, so we ended up coming through here. We swept. This side came around to South Africa because Angola was uh, AFK. So we were trying to hit the active players and then came back up and took Angola, right? Um, now, if you look, like we're, we're at a critical point. We're at 5307 out of 5920. The map is getting smaller and you have to engage, right? So if you look, there's only one other coalition that's of good size. Um, and then we are slowly dismantling them. They were up at about 1,500, uh, but you can see we're starting to take them apart here, and we've pretty much ran these other ones out. Um, it's just GG. We have a good five-man crew. Um, you'll look down here. These are all rogue cities. We never even touched these. Um, the players went AFK, um, and so then we're up here uh, fighting through these last couple of cities, and I have a rocket launcher that's getting ready to, uh, to struggle if I don't save them, right? So... Uh, let me see. Well, I got this battle up here. It looks like these will take them out. So, um, so GG on that. Uh, but I'm going to come down here and take these, and then I'm going to take all of this as well. I have a feeling on the next update we're going to be really, really close to a victory. Um, the big part is, though, is getting all these rogues taken out, and then uh, we are battling with um, the U.S. So, um, so if you look up here, we're going to take U.S. out. We've landed. We've built an airport or repaired the airport over here in D.C. So now we can just fly troops straight in instead of coming across. I've cleared the ships that were out here thanks to this AWACS that were out there. Um, I'm going to take this stack of subs and clear these two naval contacts. I'm going to take these subs down here, and I'm going to, I'm going to look to bring them down and, and scan this coast. I'm hoping that nothing's down there. I'm trying to land here in, in Paramaribo, and I'm going to send these guys out like a bunch of different directions. I have eight individual motorized. I'm going to sweep 
west in here and eventually i'm going to um, aggro canada and take all this land from the midsection i'm hoping to push the game over the 59 20 so that we could take a, a a w and and move on to the next game uh the guys in here have done a fantastic job if you look bv2345 army man 064 tevs and Karunda, all very experienced players um that are coming through so uh, level 25 here. If you look at this guy, he had to actually start over. He had a, a different login that he couldn't remember the password. So he's a lot. He's ranked a lot higher than that. Uh, if you look at Tevs, um, they're they're making a ton of progress. These guys, they listened. Uh, we had a good run, and of course, Karunda, who uh, who is just a, a fantastic player, uh, great tactician. Very, uh, you're not going to sneak too much by that guy. So we ended up with a very good five man group that um, just tore through some countries. Right? Um, we haven't engaged Canada. This guy is really good. He expanded. Canada's a hard five city map to start on. They've got to annex countries. They can't build as quick. Uh, so really impressive to see him grow. Uh, we left him alone pretty much all game, these guys that are in this coalition. Uh, we had to take out some pretty big guys. This this one was one of them. Um, this is the biggest one that was in there. They had India. They had a couple of guys. Let me see if I can... Yeah, they're pretty much... We kicked them all out, and they've gone AFK. We've taken all of his country. India was a big one. So, uh, so GG. But now I'm going to deal with how um, that uh, um, you get up with all these VPs. 15, 28, it's a lot for one person for one game, especially in a five-man. You would expect these guys to be just a little bit higher, but it was our first round playing together. So here's what happens. Um... You, you have to get in and you have to build, right? Um, you can tell that I'm a little bit low on resources out here, a little bit low on fuel, but I'm producing 476 an hour. That's a game hour. So in one full actual 24-hour day, not a game day, that would be um, um, 24 times 4 times 476. So you can see that that's going to be just a ton of supplies. So it, and you can see it just clicking while we're talking. Like you can almost never see stuff clicking away like that in a regular match. Look at that. 3800 an hour in, in money um, allowed us to run some intel ops on some of the other guys and sabotage. Um, it just it, it makes a big difference. But you can see in here, look at how much has been built. Um, that is going to directly affect your score here, right? So if you if you look at um, what your player score is made out of, um, there's two categories. There's uh, a military and an economic, and you can see how it's it's kind of different between the two. Like I really I'm a builder. I build a lot. It's why I boost my score up. It's why I I rank up quick, and it's why my VPs get big. But I wanted to point that out. Now I've been boosting the military side, so I've actually been going after people late game like this, um, and so you'll see like these contacts that are up here uh, for the ships i'm going to go and clear these ships off every kill i get is going to be more military score uh, so i'm trying to actually boost that up i'm going to uh, run through some cities hoping to find that's why i want to get these rogues over there in asia because every rogue that i kill is going to be a military score uh, on those units and you know again it, it pads your stats a little bit but um, back to this on on the side. Um, look at these cities. If I if I sort it, um, this is twelve VP in Stockholm. Like that's just huge for one city. And look at all these elevens all the way down. Right now, um, I go in here and I just build like whatever's the cheapest build in here. So look, a recruiting office. Let's go ahead and build that. And then this is the end of the game. So you don't want to be left with any resources. You don't want to be left not having built something or going through. Um, you just don't want to do that. You know, this is also the point in the match where people start to. Get crazy and they do crazy things right so um you'll see people fly stacks over and attack people's homelands like a big hail mary stack of 20 or whatever um so you know you always want to keep like some subs and and some some units back at your home which i didn't do uh, i'm not going to post this video until uh, tomorrow so the i'll have already built some subs and more troops and hopefully the game will be over by then right so uh that and the actual time it's going to take someone to get across the map to me um the game should be gg by then we should be looking at a w so um so do that also if you look at the amount of cities that i have that's um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i went 11 cities on this map and that's usually about where i'll end up somewhere 10 11 or 12 
um, because what I'll do is, I, I, like I did this round, I came down here, I annexed Florence, right, so I could build troops down in Italy to get them over to Africa quicker. Um, I annexed Rome so I could build troops, and I th was thinking about doing Venice too to have more supplies, but at, at you know, 476 an hour, I was generating enough, I think, to, to pump out the units that I was needing. Um, I also suicided a couple of stacks, lost the one, like I said, down here, um, you know, took some, took some casualties to, uh, to move across the map, but I wanted to show that because I, I get that question a lot about the how to win um, and how to boost VPs and, and, and win. And you can see here uh, that the strategy does work. Um, it doesn't take away from building troops. Um, nobody else is going to be pumping out that many troops uh, in a 4X as well, uh, especially when you know that your coalition has your back as well. And if you look at Tevs, he's got like all kinds of ships and stuff up in here. Finland was protecting the eastern side. Literally, the only play was to come into this little place to get me without giving me advanced warning right um, we also did ukraine did a great job look at these radars nothing was coming out anything by the coast was going to get spotted um, you can see them he staggered them out we had the entire mediterranean covered the entire map we were keeping an eye on russia up here and then he moved these troops later but he had look another one up here so we could see people coming for for miles away in a 4x it takes a little bit longer um, I mean, i'm sorry it takes a lot less longer for, they'll be at you four times quicker than a regular match but in a regular match you put up those uh, radars and you have pretty, I mean all day to react so um so we've set some runs here um and uh, you can see that uh, Corunda, Serbia, is going to come down here and take all these, you know, these VPs that are down here. Um, he's not taking any VPs there, but he's just attacking that city. Uh, so usually what I'll do is at this point, it's 4 a.m. I'll take and I'll split this stack and I'll have this guy do a sweep in a circle, take the four VPs, and then take this guy, sweep him, because it only resets at zeros, right, um, when the rogues will take over. So you want to have these guys going out and grabbing VPs and, and getting land in your favor. Now, the good thing about that is you'll see people coming. It will alert you if someone comes in this territory, as opposed to wait until someone comes in this territory or until they attack you here, right? So if you don't have radar up, you can't see somebody in this province. They could be just about ready to attack you. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll run this guy in a circle and then back into your city. So he's back by the midnight, the, the clock reset, and nothing takes over on Rogue. So hopefully that'll give you guys a little bit to chew on as far as like, you should be thinking about this transitioning late mid game to early late game to knowing that, okay, there's X amount of coalitions. We're so far ahead at this point. Now I need to take a risk. I need to push. I need to get out and take these last countries. Um, and you can find them by coming on the map and saying, you know what, Australia, no coalition, no communication, probably isn't sitting on that many troops. You can go after them. Thailand has two cities. You can go after these 34 VPs, clean them up, take them, get rid of them. Um, find your next target. Like if I was if I was leading this coalition at this point in the game, we weren't ready to win, um, this guy would be the next target. No coalition, 13 cities. That's so easy for three people to send ships over there with two big stacks. And then boom, you could take that country in a day. It'd be so easy. So anyway, that'll give you guys some strategy to think about. Make sure you grab the Discord. I'll put the channel in the link to it in the description. And uh, we'll see you guys. Have a great night.